What's up, everybody? It's still is Knife Obsession here, and I have a, an unboxing to do. I'm pretty excited because I feel like I don't get a lot of unboxings lately, but I'm going to use this little QSP mini penguin to get in there. This one is from... It's very exciting. Let's do this one last. We'll save the best for last. And then this is something basically to customize my para three yes a black clip and a black backspacer very cool i'm excited to get that done because i have the zerk scales that uh <clears throat> i need to put on but i can't get the old ones off so <laughs> right now it's a struggle um and i I, it's a mess. I'll just say that. It's a complete mess. But this is exciting because it's a Damn Designs. And um, I feel like they have had a piece of humble pie, if you know what I'm saying. Because they heard, you know, about that first, or that, that email that a lot of people got from when they did the pre-order last time and uh, they got a lot of backlash for that, which eh, they deserved. Um, but I think they may have learned their lesson. And, you know, I really hope they did because I, I mean, I haven't heard anything negative. So, you know, it's just they have these designs that I, I really like. Personally, my opinion is they are cool designs, you know, and um, this is, another one by them and I hope I got a sticker this time but I probably did not nope just the rag let's cut into this bad boy now this kind of looks a lot like the Fenrir Fenrir oh man it looks almost exactly like the Fenrir <laughs> it is the Brahma um, the handle is exactly like the Fenrir, actually. I should grab that. Oh, or maybe it's the Hades. Ooh. Yeah, I like the... Oh, man, this is nice. Ooh, and then it comes with that beautiful action straight out of the box. Nicely centered. I believe it's 14C28N. Uh, yeah, it says right there. It's just really tiny. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Um, the black handle, uh, the G10 looks like it's done very well. I like the contrast. Ooh, is this a hollow grind? No, it's not. For a second there, it looked like a little bit of a hollow. Interesting. I hope they worked on sharpening, though, because that's one thing I've that's been inconsistent from them is their blades don't come very sharp. I like this little swedge right here. It's pretty cool. Beautiful stone wash. I uh, I like a really deep stone wash like they do. Really nice. This is the Brahma hmm, with the Fen rear handle. <laughs> Let me show you guys something. There you go. There's a nice shot of the Hades, the Brahma, and the Fen rear. Exactly the same handle, which doesn't bother me. I don't think that's a big deal. I mean. It, it kind of takes away from the characteristics of each knife because it's so common in the shapes that they put out. But uh, because of the quality in which they make their blades and the shape of their blades, I think the blades do very well at carrying the whole knife um, as far as looks go. And um, I love this handle shape, actually. So... I mean, something like this with uh, a little, like, palm swell here or, you know, the way this is shaped to where your pinky goes back. But this one, I mean, it kind of puts in a puts your hand in a great position for cutting, you know. Uh, you also get a little bridge kind of to hold onto for utility cuts, but you'd probably use this one for utility cuts because it's got a warning. Um, yeah, I like, I like this handle shape. Um, what could they do differently though? Um, perhaps different milling, you know, like they're all 
milled on the sides and on the front sides front sides front so i get what they're doing they're eliminating a little bit of the cost by just getting a bunch of handles that are practically the same exact shape made oh i just realized this does not reverse and usually they do put a little plate there because they're all reversible so that's different um but the milling i will say is a little bit different in the brahma um so it's it comes down to kind of it, an intersection here this one goes straight to the back and then is chamfered back here where this one comes down and is chamfered all the way around so i guess it is slightly different not too different though um the fenrir and the hades do have exactly the same milling patterns in their uh handles so yeah um yeah they sure do but i mean regardless of that uh, i'm still so very interested in their knife designs i like them a lot i think they're classy looking in in, in a big way you know like this with the black contrast to the really heavy stone wash, that's a good looking knife. I love the way they did the swedge at the top. It does reinforce the tip a little, even though the tip is still a little dainty. Not too bad though. Um, let me get a piece of paper and see if this bad boy cuts. One second, please. One moment, please. Para español, oprima dos. <laughs> All right, let's check this bad boy out. Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. this one came much sharper. Yeah, big difference. This one drags through. Ooh, yeah, I feel. Wow, there's like a skip in the blade edge. Good thing they're doing the leaf blower right now. Doing the leaf blower. And this one feels nice, but. I mean, it's nice and sharp, but this one, man, this feels like as sharp as Kaiser's come. Like, Kaiser's come pretty sharp. Yeah, this feels nice. I like this a lot. I'll be carrying this bad boy today, along with something else, of course. I always have to bring along 15,000 knives with me. But on that note, that is the... Brahma. Just a little introduction. It does have a really nice middle finger flicking action. I didn't even try the. Well, the, the flipper feels nice too. It's The detent was done very nicely for both uh, deployment methods, so um, it's not weak. Yeah, even if you try to fail it, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't fail, so you're good. I think this uh, this has nice action, really good. Um, so far, I find their action is really good anyway, so I don't worry too much about it. Uh, especially the drop. Oh my god, is that good. Whew, baby. Those are some nice knives, though. I really do enjoy their style. So, I wish them success. You know, they are selling at White Mountain Knives, so you guys can use my discount code, Stella's Obsession, all caps, no gaps, and you get 10% off pretty much everything in the store. Now, the, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> Brain fart. The price is going to be different. I, find, I think the price at uh, White Mountain Knives is about $15 more uh, for the knives that they're selling of damn designs so the only the only place i've ever bought from is their online uh their website so if you go to i think it's uh damndesigns.com or something like that if uh, i'll try to find the link and put it in the description for you guys but you can always go and support justin over at white mountain knives and use a 10 percent off code of, of your favorite reviewer you know, I, I I would appreciate it, but I, it's not like I get kickback or anything for it. Um, and I know that people have the, their favorites out there that they would prefer to support. So you do your thing, you know. 
I am cool with that. But uh, I love their designs. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Comment below and let me know. Uh, also, if you could like and subscribe, if you're not already subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel and I'm trying to do a lot more things with it. Um, I'm preparing. So uh, I have ideas swarming around in my head. So I'm just letting you guys know that. Uh, I don't want it to get stagnant or boring. Um, so I'm going to try to keep it fun, man. Anyway, uh, on that note, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. But on that note, I hope you made it to the end and I'll see you soon.